Great to welcome in my three studio guests, champing at the bit. They're not nervous uh, at all. Uh, they've been part of the uh, the Pat Cash Cup over the weekend up in Horsham. Uh, Taylor Briffer, first of all, welcome to you, Taylor. Great to see you. Good to see you too. Thank and you. And the two sisters alongside each other, Ella yeah. and uh, Maggie Fitcher. Good to see you, girls. Yes, hi. Hi, thanks. How are you doing? Good, thanks. You're a bit worn out. Uh, big weekend of tennis, uh, Taylor. You only got back late last night yep. and you fronted up at school today. That's a mighty effort. Yeah. So hats off to you. Um, I had a sack at school today, so I kind of didn't want to miss school, but we got back at 10.30 last night. So yeah, it was pretty late. So I'm absolutely exhausted. Good effort. Um, Thanks for coming yeah. in. How was it? Uh, tell us, for those who don't, mo- don't know much about the Pat Cash Cup, obviously a lot of players uh, at the tournament across different uh, age groups. Just give us a little feel of the weekend. Uh, paint a bit of a, a little picture for us. Okay, so um, on Saturday morning, um, everyone got there and it's basically a team's event out of 13 different regions. Yep. So me, Maggie and Ella played for the Western region mm-hmm. and um, who did we play first? Um, I'm not too sure. <laughs> anyway. Don't worry, um, about, don't worry about the opposition. Yeah. We started <laughs> early in the morning and there's two, uh, one boy and one girl yep. from 12s to 18s and yeah, you started with a mixed doubles and then you played a singles and yeah, so how many? I don't even know how many matches we played on Saturday. Mm. Um, we played oh. five teams, I think. Yeah. Okay. But we played two rounds on Saturday because yep. there was a massive rain delay. It was like five hours. Yep. Um, now, yeah. you said to me out in the green room, this is the best weekend oh. I've had. So why? Tell so, me why. Um, because tennis is such an individual sport, I just enjoy the team events so much. Mm. Like, it was... Just the best weekend. Like, I can easily say that was a highlight. Um, it was just so great. Like, my team, um, I, they were all my friends. You know, I got yep. to – most of the people I did know, but um, a few I didn't. And it was just great to meet new people and even from other teams as well. Like, we hit with each other. We play competitions against each other. We're all just, like, friends. So it was really good – um, to be all in one place and playing tennis and even off court as well, like during the rain delay, as much as like I <laughs> wanted to play, it yeah. was also good just for team bonding. Yep. So yeah, it was just really fun. So when you, Ella, put, you know, wins and losses aside, because sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, that's a, that's yep. part of the tennis uh, journey. The, that other aspect of what drew you, what, what drew you to tennis? Because you do meet obviously lifelong friends uh, people that down the track you might go and travel with to college or overseas. Yeah. Uh, just try and give us a feel of um, uh, feel of that, and and off the back of what Taylor said about that team aspect as well, because tennis can be that isolated sort of one on one sport. But yeah, this is a, such a different feel, isn't it? Yeah, well, I'm really lucky because I have a sister Maggie who I'm always with at tennis, so I'm never really by myself. But um, yeah, teams events are really fun because like. Obviously, you're like hanging around with other people, which is, you normally don't do at a like individual tournament. And like mixed doubles is always really fun because like you get to play new people. Because normally at tournaments, it's only like girls doubles or boys doubles. So mixed doubles is really fun. And um, yeah, it's just really good to meet new people and make new friends in the team who like you play against every week, but you don't really know them that well. But like when you're playing as a team, you get to like really um, get to know them. Sure. Maggie, what about for you? Just the, the experience of the weekend and just uh, playing tennis. And I mean, it consumes obviously a big part of all your uh, lives, combining school and training and playing. And it's, it's a big commitment, isn't it? Yeah, tennis is a um, big commitment, but it's been fun. The weekend was great. Um, made lots of new friends. It was just enjoyable, like getting out of the city and playing on grass because we don't often do that. Yeah, what a beautiful surface. Mm-hmm. How often had you played on grass? Um, normally just the summer holidays. We okay. do a few tournaments. Yeah, yeah, I was watching Swan Hill over the weekend. I mean, it's a, I went down to Kooyong probably a year or so ago oh, and they're quick courts, <laughs> quick courts uh, down there. But, I mean, when you think of the the most prestigious of the, the Grand Slams, it is Wimbledon and the Australian Open once upon a time used to be played on uh, grass, but uh, not so. But it is a, it's a pretty special surface to play on, isn't it? Yeah, it's very good. So your journey, just give us a little picture because the reason, and I had uh, met your uh, dad, uh, Taylor, who's a passionate supporter of our program, (laughs) (laughs) and I get a lot of correspondence from uh, parents who 
who listen in, who are riding the journey with you. Yep. Uh, because it really is a sort of a, a team a journey, isn't it? You know, if you don't have the support of your parents, if you don't have the support of some people close to you, this mm. is a pretty tough journey to go on in tennis. So it's... where did it all start for you? So I started playing tennis at Sunshine Park Tennis Club. I was four years old. I still play there now. Um, I started junior comp at seven. And I think my first tournament when I was, I was like eight or yeah, eight. <laughs> Thanks, yep. Dad. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then I just, I wanted to play more. So I would, I still do tournaments like every holidays and on public holidays. Mm. I just love them. And now I'm doing junior pennant. I play senior competition on a Saturday as well as juniors as well still. Yep. And um, what else do I do? It's a lot, isn't it? A lot, yeah. I mean, but- how many sessions would you do a week? Outside uh, of school in terms of so practice? So I do three squads yep. and um, one private session. Okay. But during the week, I also like hit with people. I've got a younger sister as well who's 12. So we often go for hits. And yeah, I'm always hitting with Maggie and Ella. Yes. Yeah. You know, um, they're two, I've known them for like 10 years now. And it's with them, it just makes tennis so much better. Yeah. Like, <laughs> no doubt. Um, with my both my parents, my mum and my dad, you know, they work so hard and I'm just really grateful for them mm. as well yep. as all the friends I have. Because, um, yeah, it just makes tennis easier and more fun. Um, you know, I look through tournament lists and it's like, oh, Maggie's playing this. Oh, I'm going to play doubles with her. Mm. Or Ella's playing. You know, I'm doing that tournament too because they're doing it. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you're absolutely spot on because, I mean, when you're following the game at the top level and you, you see the player boxes and, you know, it's either it's it's parents or it's a brother or sister or it's an agent, you know, mm-hmm. for when you get to that sort of level and it's a, it might be a, a strength and conditioning coach, a physio on the road. I mean, they're all part of it, isn't it? I mean, we heard Ash Barty all throughout her we. career. It's we. always not me, it's we. Exactly. And, and we've never heard a tennis player yeah. reference that. She's, They're in their own little bubble. She's amazing. Yeah. I love her so much. I'll get your thoughts on Ash uh, very shortly. Uh, Ella, you're at Bayside yes. uh, College in Willie. Uh, John Triggy, who I met at a function a couple of years ago, <laughs> who had a great chat, who's had a lifetime in uh, tennis. So tell yeah. us about life at Bayside. Um, well, I only just started there this year, but it's been a great opportunity because it just like increases my volume on court because we train during the day at school. Yep. So it's so much easier because last year I was sort of struggling to balance tennis and school at the same time. But this change has like been really good because it makes me like be able to do both at the same time with like a lot of balance. Mm. But um, John Tricky's been really great so far, and like there's a few other young coaches um, who just like help run the like squads we do at school. And there's also like strength and conditioning and all this stuff at school. It just makes it a lot easier. Is there something that he has said to you that sort of stays in your mind? I mean, coaches obviously are giving a lot of advice. They're working on the technical, the tactical. They're working on the mind. Uh, they're, you know, but he's obviously been around a long time. Is there something, Ella, you've taken that sits with you that, you know, okay, I've got to keep that in the back of my mind all the time? Um, I've only been there a few weeks, but he's been really telling me to like stay aggressive and keep to my game and like don't really too much worry about the opposition. Just keep doing what I'm doing and mm. like. Yeah, it goes good. Control your side. Yes. And the the scoreboard can look after itself. Maggie, you're out at Maribyrnong, yes. uh, which has got a great reputation. Uh, Mark Safoulis, good friend of this uh, program, and I've been out to um, uh, the college out there and watched him. I've sat courtside many a time, just watched him hit with uh, players. So tell us a bit about life out at Maribyrnong. Um, well, it's good. I do three morning trainings before school and one afternoon match play. Um, we also get like gym sessions during school hours, which are good. Um, just like a big community. Every Wednesday morning, like everyone comes like in the program. So you like know everyone, you're doing drills together. Sure. And yeah, it's just really fun. You're very natural, you three. So you, you do you feel, <laughs> feel comfortable now? Yes. Yeah. So much little, better now. Little little nervous uh, at the start. But yeah. Hey, just I suppose the question I have that I'm curious, because this is a this is a really competitive sport, right? And were, were there other sports, Taylor, that you played when you're a little bit younger but you've now more dedicated yourself to tennis or do you still combine another sport so but, but what's taken you to tennis specifically do you think okay so when I was younger I was about three I think I did dancing for a while and um a lot of people don't believe that but yeah um so yeah I started with dancing and I what's well, remember- something Elena Rostopenko was uh, could have been if she wasn't a great tennis player she would, could have been a great um uh, ballerina dancer I think 
Yeah. Um, I remember my mum telling me this story. I was during, it was during a dancing lesson mm -hmm. and um, I remember coming off and saying, I don't want to do dancing anymore. I want to play tennis like mum. So that's where it th sort of all started. Um, but my dad's a swim coach as well. Yes, he does tell me. <laughs> He's got two <laughs> girls. She a lot of good stories, yeah. Two girls and none of them pick swimming. So yeah, anyway, sorry, dad. Um, what can you do? But yeah, I did swimming for a while. Um, both me and my sister Zoe started when we were like two and then we did squads and like competitive meets. Not like super competitive, just like encouragement meets. And then I think it got to like 14 and I was like, I'm just going to focus on tennis because mm. it's my number one passion. Yep, that's passion. the passion. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's just continued for there, from there. Nice. Let's get a little break in. Yep. We'll come back. Got a few questions uh, for you. Uh, one off the text to uh, Hello SCN Radio. Can you ask them to <laughs> give me a shout out? My name is Florian <laughs> Costa. <laughs> yes. Hi, yes, Florian. Hi, Florian. <laughs> He's, um, yeah, he played Pat Cash with us okay. in the under 18s. Um, yeah, Florian's great. We love Florian. Good player. <laughs> He's yeah. an amazing player. What, what I should yeah. just jot down in my little yes, pad here? Yes, oh, yeah. he Florian Kostov. He would do so good on here. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Taylor Briffer and Ella and Maggie Fitcher, my special guests tonight, all beginning this sort of tennis journey. I'm going to quickly go around. Game style, give us an insight. Taylor. Um, attacking I don't, from the baseline, I don't know. <laughs> yep. Not the best volleyer, but we're working on it. Okay, working on the uh, the, you know, the, the volley's volley. little crisper. Serves come a long way. Nice. Yeah. Do you ever throw in the drop shot? Sometimes. Usually, well, only when I'm not thinking about it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that's only the time. That's well, the only time it works. I was watching Carlos Elcaraz today. Cheesy plays the drop oh, shot uh, very well. Ella, tell us about your game. Um, Sort of aggressive baseliner. Yep. Um, My serves, may, mo yeah, may, <laughs> mo Okay, we're going to forget that word. Yes. My major weapon. Very good. <laughs> um, and I just like, um, I don't know, I got aggressive game style and I just sort of attack a lot, basically. Best wing, forehand, backhand? Ba uh, forehand. Okay, we're we going double-handed, backhand? Yes, double-handed. Okay, uh, Maggie, give us some insights. Um, well, I'm kind of like all-court player. Used to always be a like counter-puncher, but I've worked a lot on my like aggressive game the mm. last few years. Yep. Yeah. I mean, how much tennis do you consume? Do you watch, do you watch a bit of tennis, Taylor, at the sort of WTA level? I mean, obviously we've got the Australian Open. We're lucky yeah. to have a Grand Slam in our backyard here. But do you watch a bit of tennis during the week on the TV? Yeah, look, like I flick through channels sometimes and there's stuff on. I just, I love watching it. Yep. I, when I get the time during the week, it's pretty busy. But um, yeah, I, the Grand Slams are definitely the highlight. I love Wimbledon. Like that's my favourite. Yeah. But yeah. Australian Open is obviously um, very good as well. But, yeah, I just like seeing players who are sort of unknown, who you don't really expect to win. Mm. It's just great watching them. Yeah, the best. The underdog. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they're, 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 we barrack for those stories all the time yeah. when we uh, sit in this chair. <laughs> uh, don't worry about that. Hey, you've got a, a big trip yeah. uh, coming up to um, the America a little bit later yeah. on uh, this year. So, Taylor, tell us about it and... Uh, a, a little plug tonight for a little bit of support as well, because yes. this is a great opportunity. Um, so we're going with 12 other people, I think six boys, six girls. Yep. Um, and we're going with a two coaches, um, Dale Sam Samuel from mm -hmm. Waverley mm -hmm. and um, Jason Lin Linderman from NEJTA. Yep. And um, we're going up there, yeah, in September. It's a two-week training camp. This is the John Newcomb yes. uh, Tennis Ranch, which is in beautiful mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Texas, of course, in September. Yeah, we're very excited. I mean, we're working hard to um, get as much sponsorship as we can because, you know, it's a big thing for our parents, especially trying to afford things. No doubt. Um, but, yeah, we're all working on fundraising and trying to get sponsorship. It'd be great if we could get something. Um, anything would help. So this is a very what very similar setting to college tennis. I want to yeah. ask you about college tennis. Mm -hmm. You get to meet coaches, um, obviously, to maybe determine whether college is a, a little bit of a pathway, which it seems yeah. more more and more Aussies are yeah. tracking, uh, tracking this way. Yeah, I mean, that's a big goal for the three of us. I mean, a few years ago, we were like, we're doing all these tournaments. Like, what are we actually aiming for? Mm. And obviously tournaments is a big sorry the becoming professional players is a very big goal yep. we sort of need something that's a little bit closer mm. before that if that's what we decide to do 
Um, so yeah, the US college system is something we've wanted to do for a while and it's the main goal right now. You know, we're trying to get on the court as much as we can, play as much tournaments and competition. We're just trying to um, push ourselves to get there. Nice. Yeah, yeah. it's a long it'll, journey, isn't it? Be, yeah, it you know, looks I mean, amazing. Yeah. You know, it's, yeah, that's a big goal. Great opportunity. So looking for a sponsor, maybe some help with uh, prizes that can be raffled mm -hmm. to support the group. So if you can support in any way, shape or possible, drop us a line here, the first serve sen at gmail.com. You can mm -hmm. send through a text tonight. We'll put you um, in contact uh, with uh, the girls and, It'd be, I'll tell you, I wouldn't mind being a fly on the wall. Might, the first serve might have to uh, come along and maybe uh, <laughs> yes, maybe, <laughs> maybe document uh, this uh, trip. It'd be great. So that, you brought up an interesting point about where you're taking this because, you know, and I think we said this when we met last week, that you know very few reach the absolute top. This is a massive sport where we've got 1,000, 2,000 players that are ranked. Everyone goes on their own different journey, different mm -hmm. story. I'm keen to ask all of you what, how how far forward have you sort of thought of what you want to get out of tennis or are you sort of in the moment just enjoying the journey of, of the current? Um, I think for me, living in the moment is really important. But the main goal, apart from like US and professional, um, it's just I want to look back in 10 years and just be happy with, with what I've done. Just enjoying tennis has always been the main thing for me. Yep. And if I'm not doing it for myself, then there's no really no real point of doing it if I don't enjoy it. But yeah, I just want to work as hard as I can and see where it takes me. What about you, Ella? Maggie, give us a little insight into your own mind, I suppose, of where you, you know, do you dream of doing certain things in the sport or are you just sort of enjoying developing and then seeing where you maybe land? Um, yeah, def definitely like having fun with tennis is number one priority. Um, but like... We are aiming to get like high, like D1, Division One or Division Two sure. in college yep. tennis yep. is obviously the goal. Yep. But we still want to like keep developing and um, just enjoying it overall. Because like if we keep focusing on just like trying to be the best or whatever, it might get a little like boring or like we don't want to like lose our interest in it. Because mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's like for me personally, like it's like one of the best things in my life. Like I really enjoy tennis. But, um, and that's an interesting yeah. point. And Maggie might direct that question to you I because <laughs> there's, you know, we, we talk about the, the, the girls' space a lot uh, compared to the guys' space. And there has sort of been that, that dropout around your age where certain girls will say, this is maybe the, not for me or it's too hard a journey, too much time to dedicate. Yeah. Uh, but you three, I mean, you seem so dedicated to it and you're obviously, you know, very narrow, um, very focused about what you want to do. But it's a tricky sort of um, decision to make, isn't it? How much time you actually put into this and what it, what's going to be the benefit of it all? Yeah, a lot of people around our age kind of drop out. But, I mean, it helps that we do, like me and Ella, we have training like, with school, so yep. that helps keep training up. And, yeah, a lot of people just, there's lots to do, like schoolwork um, picks up around this age. So, yeah. Nice. I, I love the journey you're on. Hey, give us a favourite player on the tour. Quick uh... rapid-fire question. Alex Demonor. Alex, yeah. Yeah, love him. Yeah, at <laughs> least... my answer. Sorry. <laughs> they mine. met him. I didn't, yeah. but they met him. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What impression did he make on you, Ella, when you met him? Or how, how, was it a brief exchange or...? Um, it sort of was brief. We were at um, an ASIC event and yep. he sort of surprised us all. Um, but he seemed really nice and he's always like so positive with his mindset and everything. So it's like really inspiring. Incredible work ethic. I mean, yeah. he, he just you have that. He's a nightmare to play, isn't he, Maggie? Because he just <laughs> yeah. gets that ball back that you don't want to come back. Yeah, he just so. gets everything back, tries 100%. What about Beautiful. on the what on the girls' side? Um, I have to say former Australian world number one, Ash Barty. Yeah, we miss her. Love her. We all miss her. Posters all over yes. in my room. <laughs> <laughs> Same. <laughs> She's just, I'm, I actually cried when I found out. She retired. I found out at school. <laughs> Because hey, she's just nothing a, wrong with shedding a tear. She's a big I shed a tear inspiration at anything. to me. Like she's just so humble and it, yeah. yeah, she's yeah. really, really good. What's the one shot you miss of her game? I mean, everyone talked about her slice backhand, oh, yeah. which was yeah. beautiful. And we think about the women's yeah. final this year; it was just all out of salt, really, yeah. such a contrast. But is that the one shot that you think, God, I'd love to be able to perfect that shot? Yeah, I mean, I would love to do that, but it's just it takes special people to yep. perfect that shot. Mm. I just loved her serve. It was so, I think in the Australian Open last year, yep. she didn't even drop a service game or something. She didn't even lose a set. Mm. Um, but yeah, she Unbelievable. was just 
Yes. A few good uh, texts coming in because uh, Taylor Briffer and Ella and Maggie Fitcher are my special guests in the studio. They're on their own tennis journey. The girls are naturals on Radio Breath of Fresh Air, but <laughs> they might be hosting the first serve when you hang up the boots. That's getting close, Michael. I can't go on forever. So a great audition tonight. Uh, Brett, Taylor's little cousin, Harley is the number one fan. How old is he, Taylor? He's nine. Nine. Loudest cheerer. Distracts the opposition for all three (laughs) girls. He sends a big hello to his favourite girls. Uh, Have any of you dared an underarm? Curious underarm serve? God, no. no. (laughs) Wouldn't go there? (laughs) Nope. (laughs) Ends up over the fence. God, no. That's in the... Let's put away the kit bag somewhere. Absolutely loving the interview. Always interested in hearing from the up-and-coming talent we have in Victoria. I've got a two-year-old daughter that I'd love to introduce into tennis too. Uh, Any tips as to where to start? Hitting a balloon with a racket, taking her to a court to see me hit a few balls. What inspired inspired you to dive in? Yeah, we used to play those like little games at tennis. Um, You've just got to keep hitting with her. Get her to get um, like a soft red ball and like hitting against the wall really helps. It just... Yep. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's funny when yeah. you read you read anyone's tennis resume. They started oh. at two, three, I or four. I started with like the thing that sticks in the ground of like the string. Yep. Rodham tennis. <laughs> yeah, that was great fun <laughs> as a kid. Yeah. And well, like you hit it and goes spins round. Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, it's <laughs> funny when, when I ventured out uh, to court fifteen uh, to watch the Aussies and the juniors this year. They had mm. the totem tennis set up. I think yeah. at the back of show court three there and. People were there for hours. Parents were quite fun. happy for yeah. their kids to be uh, yeah. entertained. Hey, thank you for uh, coming in. So if you want to support uh, the girls, their trip to uh, John Newcomb's Tennis Ranch uh, later this year in September, a uh, big group going across with a couple of coaches, as uh, Taylor mentioned. Um, you can uh, drop us a line here, the first serve, SEN at gmail.com, if you would like to maybe sponsor or support, whether you can donate some prizes that can be raffled to uh, pull some money together. Not a, a cheap exercise to travel to uh, America, but... Uh, a, a great experience, uh, no doubt. So I really appreciate you coming in. Thank uh, you. All Thank I say you. to you is just enjoy the journey and we will. we'll see uh, see where it takes you, huh? Yeah, yep. yeah. we'll see. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.